And I know a man who forbade us from harming the innocent. Pause. See, new camera angle for dramatic effect. This propaganda needs style. Or else I'll get wrecked. I get so many messages from you guys saying respond to this person, respond to that guy, respond, respond, respond. They're hating Islam, they're hating Muslims. Let's be honest here. They're not here to have a discussion. They're out there to get famous, to get popular, and to have some sort of excitement in their dull and depressing lives. So it's not befitting for us to respond to each and every single one of these people. How do I know this? Look at the life of the Prophet, peace be upon him. One woman would make a poem about the Prophet, peace be upon him, abusing him, ridiculing him, calling him names and making him the subject of mockery. She would call him Mudhammam, which is basically the opposite of Muhammad. Muhammad meaning the praised one and Mudhammam meaning the dispraised one or the ridiculed one. So the companions came to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and they said, you have to respond, you have to respond. The Prophet, peace be upon him, he looks and he says, she's here talking about some guy called Mudhammam, and my name is Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He has nothing to do with it, so why should he have to respond? These people do not phase us whatsoever. We keep being Muslim, we keep preaching our message of peace, and we ignore these people. As Allah says in the Quran, and the servants of the most merciful, they walk upon the earth gently, and when the ignorant address them, they respond peacefully. Words of peace, keep walking, ignore the haters. In another famous incident with the Prophet, peace be upon him, he's sitting with his wife, Aisha radiallahu anha, minding their own business until a group walked past him saying, Sam alaykum, may death be upon you. The Prophet, peace be upon him, simply looks at them and he says, Wa alaykum, and upon you. Aisha, becoming so frustrated and angry at what she had just seen, she gets up in a rage saying, Death be upon you and the curse of Allah be upon you. She became very, very angry at what had just happened, to which the Prophet, peace be upon him, looks at her, signals to her to calm down, and he says, Allah loves gentleness in all affairs. She said, did you not hear what they just said to you? He said, yes. Did you not hear what I just said to them too? So this is the way the Muslims should respond to these people. Don't let it affect you. Don't let it harm you. Don't let it put you down. Don't let it make you feel like you're somehow a worse person because of your faith. Rather, keep your head up high. Ignore these haters. Let the dogs keep barking as we keep moving on, being a good, positive example of what it means to be a Muslim. And I just want to finally leave you with one message. Allah teaches us in the Quran, respond to evil with good. So perhaps that someone in which between you and him is enmity would become a close friend. So on saying that, I ask all of you to respond with good to the haters. The Prophet, peace be upon him, he had the worst of enemies. Safwan bin Umayyah, Abu Sufyan, Ikrima bin Abi Jahl. All these people embraced Islam despite their very, very vicious past against Islam, against the Messenger. You simply do not know the outcome of these people. So we say that, we pray for these people, we wish the best for them, but at the same time, when it comes to the ignorant, the one who's just talking rubbish, the clowns, the idiots, as Imam Shafi'i would call them, ignore them. Don't let them phase you. Don't even respond to these people, for the silence is indeed an answer.